Hello YouTube. It's Sunday afternoon, 13th, th yeah, Sunday 13th of August and the reason I am behind this box is because I am about to do today's car boot haul for you and this box is a large part of it so I thought if I got this out of the way first we'd be able to get it out of the way and then move on. So, sorry the dog's giving me a really funny look I think he's wondering who I'm talking to. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to be in the vlog? Do you want, do you want to be in the car boot hall? Come on up. Hello. Say hello, look, filthy hound. Look. Filthy hound, look at the camera. There we go. That's you. Okay, say bye bye to everybody. This is Buddy. Buddy says bye bye. Off you go. <laughs> now crying. Okay, so this is the first item from today's car boot hall. And it is a very large, look, it's very large, very large box of Monsters High dolls. Nick and Andrea mentioned these in a video a few weeks back and since then I've had my eye out but uh, while I've seen the odd one here and there I've not seen, sorry something bit me this morning at the car boot so I've been itching ever since um, I've not seen more than one or two here or there well today there was a, a young lady with her daughter and they had a massive pile and I said to her how much are the Monsters High dolls and she said oh we want £3 each so I stood there looking at them for a while and I said um, how much would it be if I wanted all of them and she said all of them I said yes all of them and she said well, all of them. And I said, yes, all of them. And it began to get more and more like a carry-on script. She said, like, okay, for all of them. And I said, yes, all of them. <laughs> she said that she would like um, £40. So I thought that seemed like a good deal. So if I'm going to take this out, I have in this box, let me show you. There we go. A huge amount. 40, no, sorry, 39 Monsters High Dolls. They're very funny looking things and they all seem to be having a bad hair day as usual, which is standard when I pick up this kind of thing but there are 40 of them some of them are blokes and apparently blokes are more desirable I, I met, uh, uh, commented to Andrew on the group to ask her was it Monster High that she said she said yes it was um, but the, and the boy ones seem to be it's, it's very very good looking your man like, there we go even though he's a bit blue the boy ones apparently are more desirable um, I've got several several young men I don't think he's quite as desirable with his uh, green hair but still and this one's positively odd. Anyway, 39, 39 dolls of varying descriptions, all a bit odd. Some of them are still on their stands. With Apparently this is called a diary, this bit here. They have a diary, each one has its own diary. And some of them are still on their stands with their diary attached. And in the box that you saw me remove earlier on are a whole lot of other diaries. I don't know if I've got to try and work out which one goes with which doll. And a large amount of accessories. So I would hope that my bundle of thirty-nine dolls plus accessories would, having cost me forty pound, I would hope that it would turn into about one hundred and fifty. We shall see. Um, I probably can't be bothered to sort through them and match them all up with their correct accessories and sell them all singly. Although I will have a look and see if I've got any that you know would sell brilliantly on their own. But either way, quite pleased with that. Um, bought it quite early on. Luckily the lady was happy to hang on to it for us until we could come back. So, excuse me looming, I'll just get rid of this. Oh, there we go. Crash bang wallop. Okay, so now you can come a bit closer. Okay, so next up, quite a lot of shoes today. These are Nine West. I wonder if I might make you lower so that you can see what I'm looking at. Bear with, bear with. I think you're probably wonky now. I'm not very good at this. Why are you wonky? Explain yourselves. Oh, perhaps I should have left you alone. Okay, now you can see my uh, my non-slimming world stomach. So these are Nine West. They are just white sandals. I'm astonished, they're, obviously because they're Nine West, they're an expensive brand, they're literally made of PVC, even on the side it says, you know, white synthetic summer sandals, the original price on these, 75 quid, who pays 75 quid for a pair of synthetic sandals for 75 pound, I want leather, anyway that pair, hold that thought because there's two other pairs coming on later on, so I'll tell you my price in a minute, okay they're further down the bag, these were, 50p. These are Orchard, which is a brand that I see quite a lot in charity shops, but don't I don't think it's particularly 
might be a catalogue brand I'm not sure but um, they're just summer wedges a bit of a hessian heel there um, really simple shoe but they were 50p 50p why wouldn't you these are faith <coughs> There's Buddy getting involved again. These are Faith. These are these were also 50p. Excuse this pile of junk, by the way. This is my waiting to be listed pile. You can see my cardboard ill there behind me. So these are Faith. Bit of mud on them. They need a bit of a brush up. But I think the mud on them has come just from sitting in the car boot side because when you look at the heels, there's not a speck of wear there. They look like they might have been worn indoors, but the heels are absolutely pristine. So um, I thought they were quite pretty and. I said 50p, I think they were 50p, they might have been a pound, but they certainly weren't more than that. These were one pound, these are next, again, immaculate in the heels, no damage on the heels whatsoever, and I uh, just thought they were something a bit different. I'm going to run out of space again, aren't I? This is the problem with this. I bought these for myself, these were also 50p, and I bought these for myself because I quite like a low court for for smart, you know, for funerals and things like that, things where you have to look reasonable. However, I got caught out, and I've been caught out by this in the past, um, by the American sizing. So I thought they were my size, and they're actually two sizes too small. So they will be polished up a bit, and they'll go on eBay. They were 50p, you know. Now, these ones I will put on one side for a moment, because they will go with the other pair in a moment. Jules Wellies. This was at the second car boot because we did two today and when I saw them there I thought I wonder how much she wants for this. It was one of those ladies who seemed to have, didn't seem to have a vintage stall, you know, she obviously did lots of car boots, she didn't look like she was just there on an occasional thing. Um, and I thought she'd want, I thought she's bound to want quite a lot for Jules Wellies. One pound. One pound for Jules Wellies, can't go wrong. Grab those. And here's the other pair. So, now these boots are Todd's. Um, they will sell for between 35 to 50 pounds usually for a pair of Todd's boots they are I would say unworn yeah I would I would say unworn looking at this soles there bit of a scuff on the suede there but that should brush up nicely so those the nine west sandals that I showed you earlier and this pair of shoes here cost me seven pounds for the three these we think are fake. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. I apologise for the uh, brief interlude. That was my son needing help sending a parcel. So, I was about to show you these. These are Christian Louboutin shoes, and I am 99% sure they are fake. And I'll tell you for why. I have three reasons. For believing that these may not be genuine Christian Louboutin shoes. The first reason is that I got them for £2 at a car boot sale. As a general rule, if it seems too good to be true, it usually is. The second reason is that I got them for £2 at a car boot sale at the end of the car boot sale. So surely if they were genuine, somebody would have spotted them and snapped them up by then. And the third reason, which is a more prosaic one, is that inside the loop of the L at the top here does not quite meet the downward stroke. So it goes like that and the top of the loop is supposed to almost meet the, uh, the, the downward stroke and on these they don't and it's the only thing I can find that makes me think they're not genuine because they fit the bill in every other possible aspect. They've got the painted leather heels rather than the uh, plastic soles. Um, the Paris, the wording on the Paris is right and it's in the right place. The printing on the back is all correct. The arch is a nice rounded arch, but that L is not correct. So I think they're fake. And plus, like I said, who gets blue boutons for £2 at a car boot sale? But I will still be able to sell them, just not as Christian Louboutin shoes. Now these, this was astonishing to me. These are irregular choice shoes. In my humble opinion... They are ugly as sin. Irregular Choice do some beautiful shoes. They do some fantasy shoes. They do Alice in Wonderland shoes. They do some gorgeous shoes. These are not some gorgeous shoes. In my humble opinion, these are quite unpleasant shoes. But they are Irregular Choice, and Irregular Choice have a strong following. People like them. I got two pairs. I got a blue pair, and I got an even worse yellow pair. The blue pair, as you will see from the soles, have had some wear. 
The yellow pair have had very little wear indeed, possibly been out once, I would have thought, at the very, very most. However, they are extremely unpleasant. I don't know what they'll sell for. I can't find a similar pair. But I bought them because, having stood there and looked them over, and thought about how unpleasant they were, and how I don't know why anybody would buy them, I thought to myself, well, I will buy them because they're a regular choice, but I bet they're expensive. He wanted 50 pence per pair. So I snapped those up because even though I think they're ugly, somebody will like them. And at 50p, there's money there. Definitely. Next up, bric a brac They've gone very red. A little bit red. Look like they're here. That might be from the car boot this morning. I did get burnt a bit. And the sun's coming in through the window as well. So, these are M&S stacking mugs. There are only three, and I should imagine originally there would have been four. But they sell quite nicely as spares for seven quid or so. And I will probably just put them on for ten or twelve. And I paid one pound. I paid one pound for those. This is a Dalek cake mould. So it will stand up like that when you've got your cake mixture. And it's made by Lakeland. They're about 17 or 18 pounds new in the box. This has not been used, although it's very, very dusty and covered in bits of fluff and rubbish. But um, yeah, it will probably still go for a ten, although I will need to defluff it before I can send it out. So yeah, the, the funniest part about this was that they had stuck a post-it note label on it and they had spelt Dalek like Dalek, because it was a Dalek cake okay, mold. That's, that's Bristolian's way, Dalek. <laughs> so invest through flotation vest this is a speedo brand one i always pick these up if i see them and they're in good nick and this was a quid so can't go wrong at a quid that'll go out at seven eight and they've run out of space again as usual start flinging it down here 10 pairs of craft scissors for 50p um again they'll go out for about a tenner maybe so i tied them together with a shoelace because they kept falling all over the place and giving the dog a panic attack like anything that goes crash, he runs away. He's out in the hallway now because he can nearly rummage in around. He stays out in the hallway where he thinks he's safe. Another grow egg. Um, last week, the one that I had and sold was complete with its box and it had the little um, you can get a little nightlight thing that fits over the top. This one, just the egg itself and the and the power cord. But even so, I paid two and I'll get ten, maybe twelve. Scrabble cookie cutters for one pound. I thought these are quite, these are another, another thing from Lakeland, it's been a bit of a Lakeland day and I just thought they were a novelty, they're brand new in a sealed packet, they've never been used and they should sell for about a tenner I should imagine like I said, novelty value, quarter four is coming Harry Potter 6 film box set, 50p I don't need any more Harry Potter films, when I do my here is all my stash you will see why I don't, look at that sun, you'll see why I don't need any more but who's going to leave a six film box set for 50p behind? Who's going to do it? Not me. A Royal Dalton The Snowman decorative plate. That was £1. Um, the snowman stuff is quite popular all year round, but especially popular at Christmas. So no box, but you can't have it. I've got four old doll books. They were 20 pence each. As I've said before, they just go in bundles. So. Six chalet school books. It's a bit more unusual to find these. Six chalet school books for... I think they were going to be 50 pence each and then she said £2 for the lot. So, yeah, £2 for the lot. So they'll go on again as a bundle. Oops, I've knocked the camera. Come back. Bear with me. I can't, honestly, I can't be trusted with anything. There we go. Uh, three, that's not mys. That was £2 for the three. She wanted a pound each and I kind of put them back and went, no. And then she went, okay, £2 for three. And even that's more than I usually pay. But by then I was like, oh, whatever. A flutter lip and, lip and cheek tint for 20p. These may turn out to be today's bargain buy. This is a set of Oxford Illustrated Jane Austen books. There are six in total, which is... Austin's complete works. Now I bought these when I spotted them. I bought them for me because my set of Austin is paperback and old and tattered, and these were very nice. And I thought oh, I'll have those. I'll just pick these up, and for the OCD amongst you, one of them's upside down, just to be annoying. Um, and the chap again 
it, it, it does make me laugh when people knock themselves down before you've even spoken. So I said, how much are your books? And he said, oh, I don't know, £5? No, 50p each, £3? No, give me £2. I was like, if I stand there long enough, he'll be giving me money. But £2 seemed to be where he was stopping. So I was very pleased with them for £2 and even more pleased when I got home and looked them up and discovered they should sell, if I choose to sell them, for about 50 Nicely done. Bear with. There'll be a crash. Okay, and then this bag I think is nearly all plush. This is a moose. He is a Strava moose. Where is he? There we go. Strava moose from Ikea, from Ikea, as they call it themselves. Um, some of the Ikea toys is very, very soft. Some of the Ikea toys are worth looking out for, some not so much. There are no completed and sold in the UK of this moose, but in America there's lots of completed and sold for about 20 quid. He was 50p. Say hello, almost. 50p. He'll go on. An M&S really soft pink rag doll. She was, I think, 50p as well, although I wouldn't swear to it. She'll, she'll sell for 6 to 8. A Cartman, 50p. And a Frozen Kenny. I didn't even know they did a Frozen Kenny. Also 50p. Now, Kenny's still got his tags, but they are both a bit tired, especially around the feet. The feet seem to be where these go. So they won't go for very much, but they will go. They'll go for more than 50p. A, I did look this one up, a, a Bruin, a Bruin bear. He was 50p, I believe. I might be telling fibs now. I wouldn't have paid more than a pound. Mousy was 50p. Mousy is from M&S. Sells for, again, seven to eight pounds. A Manhattan toy lion, 20p. Seven to eight quid on that, I expect. This is the next beautifully soft rabbit, brand new with tags. She was 50p, which is lovely, really soft. And then a few bits of clothing. This is Hell Bunny, and it was, you wait for it, 50p, Hell Bunny blouse, with a little spider and cobweb print on the collar there, 50p. An M&S one-piece swimsuit in a size 14, 50p. And an S bra in a size 36E, 50p. You see the pattern here? Oh, it's got... Is that a hole or is it meant to be there? That might be meant to be there. No, that's a hole. Okay, that won't be any good. Would have been rather nice. It was only a quid. It is a Christian Odigier hoodie. Very, very blingy on the back there. But unfortunately, it is an ool. So I might see if I can mend it and then just declare that I've mended it. A Johnny B uh, thermal, thermal vest, thermal long sleeve vest top, 50p. Johnny B is a subdivision of Bowden. And the last thing out the bag is a pair of Ed Hardy embellished jeans. They're men's, size 34. Uh, 34 waist, 36 leg, I think that is. Yeah, I think that's 36 leg. Uh, brand new with their tags. She wanted two. I offered her one. She took one. So I don't know what they'll go for, but yeah, I thought brand new jeans. We'll give them a try. And that's all I have here. Downstairs, hanging on the washing line, there is a brown leather because I put it through the washing machine because I paid two quid for it. So, you know, let's give it a chance. Brown leather jacket uh, from Mango. It's really nice and it seems to have come out through the washing machine unscathed. But it smelled. It just smelled. It smelt not as though, as, though, as though the jacket had absorbed some smells from around it, so as though maybe somebody had hung a dirty hoodie on, or, or maybe maybe the lady wasn't very clean, but it just smelt unwashed. And with it being leather, it does tend to absorb the smells. That's gone through the washing machine, come out smelling fresher. There's also a pair of sketches hanging on the line because they were grubby. And two or three soft toys and comforters hanging out there in the sunshine. And that's it. That's today's car boot haul. I now have to try and stitch these two videos into one because of my son wandering in the middle. I hope it's not been too long. I do seem to have blethered on rather. I hope you enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, please uh, like, subscribe, comment below if you've got anything you want to say. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.